Hey, it's you. It's Everyday Ultraman, and I want to do some Ultraman unboxing here. But as you can see, my table is full of Yu Gi Oh cards. Oh my god, yes, I have just bought some Yu Gi Oh cards, and this is 4,000 cards. Oh my god, a lot, as you can see, a lot. Wow, but it's okay because we have no space. We shall record it here at our sofa. Ta da! Quite nice, we have a black background. So today guys, I want to do this. Dark Zagi. Um, just a, to make it clear, I, don't, I think you guys have realized this. I've actually had this for a very, very long time. I mean, I think if I had this, I can't remember when I bought it, but I'm pretty sure it was like last year. Uh, the reason why is I kind of lost it. I forgot that I had it. <laughs> but yeah, it was only during my um, showing off my new shop video that i realized i had him so yeah so immediately i was thinking oh my god this guy has to go into my collection and as you guys know this ultraman is really rare dark zagi is apparently dark zagi 5.5 inch is really hot to get really rare <laughs> so i can't remember how i got him i think i bought a bundle like 20 ultraman software bees and then i got this one one for free maybe i can't remember but all i know is i'm glad i have him because apparently this is really rare and hard to get and it's true i've never been able to sell him on my shop in my shop i have around like 200 ultramans different size different monsters and everything but i've never had him i never had a 5.5 inch dark zagi before so as you can see really rare guys it this is dark zagi right yeah i hope it is if i'm wrong then guys please correct me but i'm gonna assume it's called dark zagi so yeah uh, let's just look at the body. I mean, guys, I have to say, the body looks so amazing. Except the back. The back is just plain black. But in the front, oh my god, look at this. Black and red. He looks really scary. And apparently, it's the final opponent that... Um, uh, what was it? Ultimate Noah. He fought against Noah, right? And of course, he lost. But damn, this is the Nexus' strongest villain, right? Very scary. And the details are really good. This is a standard Ultra Hero series, so you can move it like this, move it like this, move the leg, you can't move the head. And it's very beautiful. And the tag, he's number 26. And look at the face, it's all black except the eyes. It's, it, that is a scary, guys. That is so scary. Wow. Nice. So, definitely a good candidate to be inside my collection. And it's kind of soft. Wow. Okay, is this the old ones or no? I, I think it's one of the newer ones, but still very nice. Okay, now I just can't get over how scary it looks. Oh my god, damn, you are indeed scary. Wow, okay, guys, you know, as always, we have to do the tags. So let's just cut this up like so. Uh, oh, okay, that's oh, there you go this and we take the tags and then we just cut down the middle like so cut it nice and easy we throw that away so we use this as our stand so it will be like this I got my glue here Do it quick. Okay, let's just take the glue. Oops, it easy. A lot of people of you guys don't like that I do this. I mean, some I'm not saying all, but I read in the comments once that someone said that I shouldn't glue the Ultraman. But you know, uh, I don't know. I kind of like it like this because at least it has a stand. Plus, I'm wait, 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 wait. Why is the glue not coming out? Oh, should I do? Okay. And then we just put it here. Hopefully, this is the center. And then we close the glue up like so, and just push it. Ta da! And there you have it, Dark Zagi with a stand. Very beautiful indeed, guys. What do you think? Do you like it? 
I have to admit, definitely one of my favorite Evil Ultraman. Of course, my first favorite is Evil Tika, but this will definitely become my second favorite. Very beautiful indeed, guys. Let's put that so. Yep, very beautiful indeed. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. It's been Everyday Ultraman, and thank you for watching my video of Dark Saki for my collection. Thank you, guys. Bye.